And so to me, this is where a lot of the wokeness in schools come from is they'll say, oh, no, no, math is racist. Two plus two equals four. That's math. No, that's not racist. But what might be racist or inequitable is failing to teach a bunch of poor black kids how to do math or to uh -huh. keep them home for an entire year where a bunch of kids who went to those charter schools and private schools during the pandemic still got a full year of school. We're never gonna fix that inequity. And so they blow what I call woke smoke to deflect accountability for their own failures. And so I'm calling that bluff, but I wanna do it not just to name and shame people, but because there's actual solutions we can bring to the table to deliver that economic empowerment. Not all of this is going to be done by the government. Some of this is cultural, and I think that yeah. hurts to talk about. I think we've got to speak about the hard truth. We've got to fix certain failing cultures in our inner cities as well. A culture of victimhood, a psychological culture of failure. That's part of this, too. And that's not just the U.S. president's job, though the president can be a national symbol of character. But it's going to require cultural leaders in other spheres of our lives, parents, teachers, coaches, people who provide inspiration through film, the way movies portray people. All of this is going to be an element of our national cultural revival, but the president has a role to play, and that's the role I'm looking to play.